Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Xbox Simulation Gaming series. Last time I stopped for gas here at this gas station, so this is where the game resumes now. Okay, let's do the taco and get her going. I think I forgot the lights. I usually like to do them first, but I'm gonna them now uh, i guess during the day it's okay to do the taco before the lights in the dark you simply cannot see the display in uh, what it says but here we go on our way just over 100 kilometers to go uh, i might be able to finish this run during this episode but let's talk about the big Xbox announcement Fabian made uh, yesterday. Uh, he posted the video on YouTube. Nobody's coming from the right. Although I've never actually seen anybody coming from there. <laughs> it seems like in those stops, like vehicles are just sitting there and nobody comes and parks or leaves. Anyway, so what Fabian said. <laughs> Now, for the first time, he's actually talking about um, steering wheel support for Xbox and what he's saying actually makes sense. Um, previously, it's been sort of a blaming how difficult it is to work with Xbox, this and that, and it's all Xbox fault. This time, what he's saying actually makes sense. And what he said is, is that the Unity engine is the one that was preventing the uh, steering wheel support on Xbox. Oh, why is my truck black? Oh, <laughs> I'm pissed now. So, whatever skin I pick, it never saves. So every time my truck is going to be black. Anyways, uh, I'll fix that later. Um, let's just keep going here. So, what was I saying? Yes, um, Fabian, um, he's saying that the Unity engine is preventing them uh, from providing the, wheel, the steering wheel support. Uh, they've worked with Unity and uh, developed a solution. And Unity is now working with Microsoft, so very soon we will have steering wheel support. He did say on new gen Xbox, uh, but eventually that should be they should be able to transfer this to Xbox One. Um, he didn't commit to any time frames. He simply said it won't be in the next couple of weeks. Um, which means it's gonna be a while. Um, probably in August sometime. Uh, but again, that's for new gen. Um, Xbox One will get it eventually, hopefully. <laughs> but um, for now, we still don't have it. And uh, yes, I am playing on Xbox One. Um, so we'll see how long it takes. Um, but yeah, in September, there are a few interesting things uh, that are happening. There will be a map extension on Truck Driver and the new Bus Simulator 21 is coming out. So um, there's quite a bit of uh, competition here and um, I'm not sure why they are delaying this so much. Um, I would be in a little bit of a rush if I was them, but um, it is what it is. I always wondered what those things are. It looks like cameras, and I'm not sure if they're speeding cameras or those are one of those payment cameras, like where it just takes a picture of you and then sends you the bill uh, for paid highways, that is. Um, yeah, if you know, uh, let me know down in, in the comments. And while leaving comments, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh 
Oopsie. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to be exiting here. But yes, don't forget that notification button that would notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. And I'm going to mention this again, it would be very nice if they actually add some sort of a warning when you have to exit. Like, exit in one kilometer, exit in 500 meters or something like that. Something like a real GPS. Um, because trying to figure out, just looking at the screen, if you're about to exit, it's uh, kind of hard. <laughs> And yeah, you, if you're passing someone, you end up stuck in the left lane and you can't exit. But I should say that none of the other driving simulator games have that, so they're all the same uh, in terms of the GPS. It doesn't really tell you in advance that you have to exit or turn or anything. And right now, looking at the GPS, looks like the right lane is ending um not sure if i'm gonna get stuck here between those two trucks oh no the left one is the one ending. <laughs> so i guess actually i'm good here i wonder if i have enough time to pass this guy no no i don't <laughs> no he's gonna cut me off okay And we have more construction here. Fabiano was saying that logistics and truck simulator is actually available right now, but I don't see it on Xbox. It's probably not available in Canada, so that, that might be why. But I'll keep looking for it if if it does. Oh, did this guy? He did hit me. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think it registered, but he hit me. <laughs> um. I thought they fixed the AI. Anyway, so what was I saying? Yeah, uh, the truck and logistics simulator. If I see it, I will definitely buy it and I'll see what it is and I'll definitely post a video of it. Uh, but for now, it's, it's not there. It's not available. Uh, not in Canada, that is. It's probably available in other countries on Xbox. We're getting pretty close, only 50 kilometers left. Oopsie, I think I overdid this. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, didn't lose control, so that's the good thing. I think I'm exiting again. <laughs> yeah, I better stay behind this guy because it looks like we're supposed to exit here. Oh yeah, and he's exiting too. Everyone's exiting. <laughs> and yeah, they slam on the brakes, so I better keep extra distance. Yes, I did crash over there. I lost, I think, like 2%. Uh, but I used the time and I cut the part out to actually fix the skin of my truck. And she looks good again. <laughs> I really don't like that all black truck. Uh, this is good now. Let's see if it saves this time. Or do I have to do it every single time? Why is it cutting out like this? I feel like I'm gonna crash because... Wow. Um, is it just the outside view that it would be cutting out like this? Or... It, it's like a real pain. Look at that. <laughs> but anyways, the, the truck looks really nice. So that's, that's the main point here. On slowly, slowly while wow, this light is red. And I like this one better. I actually picked a brighter red color this time, so I think this one is better. I don't know if maybe the fact that I keep making changes is why it doesn't save. 
We'll see. I'll once I have enough money, I'll buy a different skin. Um, there we go. It's. I'm not even sure. Is that red or green? <laughs> I think it's green. We'll find out, I guess. There we go. It's green. Eh? I guess like those lights uh, during the day. Sometimes it's hard to see. I'm trying to simulate the light of the sun. Um, but yeah, and at the peak, peak right works pretty good while turning. But we still have 40 kilometers on this little road. This video is already getting a little long. I'm thinking that I'm going to stop here at this gas station. Probably better. Yeah, let's let's just go in here. Uh, I do have to put some gas because if I don't, if I just stop here, it will start me somewhere back. Uh, it will not start me next time from here. So the only way to make sure, the only way I know how to save the game is to actually put some gas. And let's uh, not forget to turn off the truck, like make it a little more realistic. <laughs> turn off the truck, turn off the engine, and let's uh, let's go get some gas. I only need very little, so that's it. I only can take very little, I should say. But let's let's take a look at this. See that Lexian transport looks awesome. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Let's look around the other side. No, I don't want to open that. <laughs> I'm just looking around. There we go. There's the other side. But anyway, so it looks like this is going to be it for this week. I will complete this run next week. So, um... Thank you very much for spending the time and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.